Hi everyone, it's Cheris and welcome to my sixth notebook review video. If you haven't watched the other notebook reviews I did on this series, I'll link it up here so you can watch them later. Today, we are featuring the Dingbats Pro Notebook. This was gifted to me for review purposes, but please know that everything I say on this video is entirely my own. I always aim to make my reviews to be as transparent and honest as possible, so if you have been looking at this notebook and still deciding on purchasing one for yourself, this video might help you out. Dingbats is a Lebanese stationery brand dedicated to produce eco-friendly products using degradable, vegan, and recycled materials. This notebook is from their Pro Collection, the newest edition next to the Wildlife and Earth Collections. There are two motifs available, the bee and cactus, both come in a black hardcover bound with textile that is made from renewable resources. Each design are beautifully debossed in gold on the front cover and the brand's name on the back. The cover has a nice texture to it and the design is very minimalistic. The notebook is enclosed with a black elastic band. Another cool thing about this notebook is that when you open it, the first thing you'll see is the end sheets with unique prints that corresponds with the design. The bee notebook has an illustrative pattern of the bee's wings. As for the cactus notebook, it has a cactus pattern. There is also a space to write your name and your contact details. Inside, you will find two bookmarks in black and gold. There is a back pocket containing Dingbat's contact information and a small brochure of their products on offer as well as a black pen holder. The notebook has a lay flat binding, though at some point, you will need to train them to lay completely flat. The pages are 160 GSM with natural white matte paper that is acid-free and is FSC certified. Comparing to a printer paper, the pages look more of an off-white than a bright true white paper. The pages are unnumbered, the dots are 5mm apart and are medium gray. There are 32 spaces across and 46 spaces down. The notebooks come in either dot grid or plane in a single size which is B5. Here is my current A5 bullet journal for comparison. In terms of the number of pages, the Pro Notebooks has 128 pages which means they are fewer than my current that has 192 pages and 160 GSM paper. This can be a disadvantage if you like to create more spreads or prefer a notebook that lasts for a longer period of time. But if you like notebooks that are lightweight and don't mind switching notebooks often, this can be an advantage. Dingbats Pro notebooks are mentioned to be very well suited for different drawing and painting techniques, so we are going to test the paper out with a thorough pen and paint tests. All the supplies I'm using for the tests are listed down on the video description. I wanted to start off with my fountain pen, however, I misplaced it, so I just went ahead with some of the fine liners I have, like the Sakura Pigma Micron, Unipin, Artline, and the Ultra Fine Rollerball Pen by Logitech C4, all of which I tested with a single stroke and shading. On the side, I did a quick smudge test for these pens. In one second, 
5 seconds and 10 seconds. Apparently, the ink smudge even on the 10 seconds. But keep in mind that I have sweaty palms. I think it's a factor, so if you happen to have the same situation as mine, you will likely need to wait a little while for the ink to dry to avoid smudging. I'm also testing some brush pens like the Tombow Fudenosuke Hard Tip Brush Pen, Tombow ABT Dual Tip, Sakura Koi, and Crayola Super Tip, as well as my Stabilo Swing Cool Highlighter. As usual, I'm testing them with 3 layer application. Then I'm doing tests with my white pens that I'm using not only to write on top of a darker color, but to also correct my mistakes. I have the white Sakura Jelly Roll, the Uniball Signo Gel Pen, the white Uniposca Paint Pen, and the white Acrylograph Paint Pen in 0.7mm. Among the four of them, Uniposca Paint Pen seems to be the most visible while the rest of them blends very well with the paper. I have some metallic pens to test as well such as my Dong A Gold Gel Pen, Simi Art Gold Gel Pen, and Uniposca Gold Paint Pen. I also tried another color of my Acrylograph Paint Pen on the page. I also included on the pen test the alcohol-based markers which I'm sure is expected to bleed so we'll see that on the results later on. Now it's time to move on with the paint test to see how it handles water. I'm doing three tests at the bottom of the page. First is with my solid watercolor. I started with a very pigmented using little amount of water. On the next application of the same color, I added a bit of water and gradually added a lot more creating a gradient. I did the same procedure with my gouache paint but I find that the paper took a while to absorb it unlike on the solid water color. You can see here that the paint tends to pull especially on the wettest area. It may give you an uneven result but if you are someone who likes to take your time to blend colors or is patient enough to wait, this can be a pro. As for the acrylic paints, it performed similarly with the watercolor. So now I'm flipping over the test page so you can see the results. Expectedly, the alcohol markers bled through the page. And to my surprise, there are slight ghosting on the other pens I used. I'm going to show you a closer shot of the results in a few, but knowing that the paper is 160 GSM, even with the white Uniposca paint pen, you can definitely see there is ghosting as well. For the paints, I'm very impressed how the page handled water, there is no bleed through, there are only slight wrinkling on the area where I used a lot of water. My final thoughts about this notebook is that this can be a good choice for some of you who prefer a bigger sized notebook if you don't mind unnumbered pages with ghosting but still able to use different mediums. If I were to use this notebook as my bullet journal in the future, I would say I won't be using it as how I'm using my bullet journal today. I'm more on the adventurous side, experimenting different mediums with no ghost or shadow as a preference. Maybe I'll use it for sketching, academic, or classic journaling where I will write about day-to-day -day happenings. And right now, I'm comfortable with an A5 size, though I'm open to use a B5 soon. So please know that at the end of the day, it all comes down to your personal preferences. What I also noticed about this notebook is that it's odorless compared to the first notebooks I've reviewed in the past which I really like. 
The Pro Notebooks are sold for £26.95 from the UK and worldwide store, $29.95 US from the US store, and $39.95 Canadian from the Canadian store. So make sure to choose the store depending on your location as I find that there is a difference between converting these prices than the actual prices from the stores. One more thing I praise Thingbats about is their dedication to the environment. They are one of the brands that really care about the preservation of the nature and wildlife by considering all the materials and design. They actually partnered with WWF UK wherein they donate 2% of their UK revenues and I really admire that. The Pro Collection designs are very sleek and classy in my opinion. The pattern on the end sheets looks superior. I like that they come in dotted and plain as well. Though I wish there were more designs and colors to choose from and more pages. But I'm looking forward to what they'll come up next. Let me know in the comments what you think about this notebook. What design would you choose? Would you like to try it? Or if you already have one, what your experiences are. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope this was informative and helpful for you. Don't forget to like this video and please do subscribe to the channel as I have more review videos coming for you. I'll see you again on my next one. Bye!